looks like a bimbo. Serving niggas out the window. Have a nine three kids with a hustle for Jamendo. Had to get it off the mental. Had to move with the intellect. Mm. There's niggas on me begging that paddy wagon, but I won't let them in. Oh, so I gotta watch my tempo. Step a step a step a only stepping for a trap. Step a step a step a gotta step on niggas. Hey y'all, look, it is legit. 6.04 a.m., y'all. It's, it's like the whole day, but it's 6.04 a.m. I am super tired, but we glad I don't stop the marathon must tell you. I'm getting my day started. It is Monday. I'm headed to the gym to get this workout in. Gotta get that workout in before. I, well, I gotta get that workout in before, you know, I uh, do I do anything my day because the, the gym is, you know, the gym is like my morning, like my days, like coffee. Like if I don't work out, then my day, you know, it's not, it's not gonna be the same, man. But y'all, yeah, we're headed to the gym. I need, I need to, well, I needed to charge my headphones, so I had to stop at the gas station and get a charger so I can charge it. But yeah, I'm all the way to the gym right now. Again, to get my day started, man. I can't wait. I'm off the time, so. I do have an energy drink, man, but damn, man, like, you guys don't know the grind, man. Like, do I really want to go to the gym at 6 in the morning? No, I do not, but, you know, I have a lot of stuff to do this week. Today, in general, man, so, so literally by the time I get done with the gym, I got to I, I gotta, I'll go back to the crib. I got to eat. I got to, you know, pack up my stuff make sure I have all like my camera gear and all that then head to one company then after for a few hours and after that I, I have my own company I have to go deal with all day yeah man so can't complain but God is good man see because with you know without God and my people here we have a 2023 Audi S5 right here man wrapped it in satin black all the way around you know none nothing crazy nothing crazy but it is it is like that satin black with the you know the all black joint is it's pretty dope man but that's not what i'm here to you know tell y'all in this video man i'm about to give y'all a few things about what i do like about this album. not gonna lie the twin turbos in this car you can honestly hear them when you're like in certain areas you can definitely hear the twin turbos they are pretty pretty loud especially if you're just cruising and probably like third fourth gear and then you just tap on the throttle a little bit the twin turbo system is pretty loud with the stock intakes i'm not gonna lie i have been looking at a few videos of these there's not a lot you know of mods that people have done yet for this because obviously the car just came out but I feel like if you just add aftermarket intakes and downpipes, this car would be so much fun. But the, the, the but definitely the turbos will be. And the next thing I definitely like about this car, especially for it being a stock vehicle, the exhaust system. So it does have an active exhaust system. You could pretty much choose whether you want, you know, quiet mode, normal or you know overly exaggerated burble on this car so let me show you guys what that burble sound sounds like but don't mind a dirty car though i've been up you know i've been i've been up in the groove and i'm literally charging stuff on my gimbal got my camera right here my beats camera bag right there but let me show y'all you know what i'm talking about See, I hope y'all heard it from, you know, the startup. It does burble. And it's, it was it was like that with my Mercedes. I had, Sorry, the, you know, the thing, it connected to the Bluetooth. But as I, as I was referencing with my Mercedes, a cool trick was that if you put it in like Sport or Sport Plus, and then you start the car, the car will burble on the startup. But what I'm talking about is like with the, you know, exhaust system, you could change the mode. So comfort, is where it's like quiet auto i haven't tried that but dynamic is where it opens it up as you hear it the exhaust is open now 
So, you know, if you go, oh, let me go back here. So if you go to individual, which I am in, the drive mode, you can choose between balance sport, steering, you can choose between comfortable, balance sport again, same thing with engine noise. So if I hit quiet, the valves close, and then automatic, and then present, meaning obviously the exhaust gets louder. But let me go, uh, you know, uh, let me give you guys a demonstration of engine sound being quiet and present right now. guys i mean you guys another thing of what i do love about this audi s5 uh as you see the seats you know it is definitely a sporty seat you get the premium leather with the embroidered s line a logo and then you get the diamond stitched alcantara all the way down and you get the extendable alcantara seating for you know the people who, who, who wants more of their thighs you know they thigh me you know stretched out no homo but yeah that's definitely one more thing it is it's definitely comfortable when you're taking turns i feel safe taking turns in this vehicle because you know how bolstered up you are and i'm 6'1 about 198 one 200 on a bad day so i'm i'm a pretty like i'm not big but i'm a you know a pretty big normal sized dude in this vehicle but yeah, definitely the seats and the back seats, you do get the same thing, the same bolstered up back seat with a diamond stitching and all that, man. Back seat definitely is comfortable, but the, the room though. So the way I'm sitting right now, I'm, you know, at my normal position. So if we was to get in the back seat and there was to be, you know, a passenger behind me, right? Let's see if I'll be able to fit. All right, you guys, as you can see, I'm in the back seat. My knees definitely are wide. You know, I, you know, I would say back seat drivers definitely have about a one hour span before, you know, they get tired. Obviously this person would have more room because this, you know, that this seat is not a laid back or scooted back as much as mine. But yeah, if you are a small person, definitely you can for sure fit back here. And you guys, if you know me, you know how I feel about audio in a car. So this Audi has a Bang & Olufsen audio system. It sounds honestly amazing. It is definitely premium definitely worth the price um i would give you guys snippet, but i don't want to copyright it but let I me mean, know let me just you know compare it to you know the um mercedes audio sounds pretty pretty crisp but just like that definitely premium sounds amazing you know i would take this in any car but besides that y'all honestly this interior is like probably don't again don't mind this but the interior definitely is probably one of my favorites with the carbon fiber trim all the way around here all the way to the front and the side and then you got the leather mixed with the alcantara suede all the way around man and then everything is digital on here literally digital this screen is digital and then you can actually change your view up here and then you could go from there the song you listen to, phone calls. It just a lot of options, which I do love. So yeah, man, interior definitely is, I give it a solid 10 out of 10. No, interior, I give this honestly a solid eight out of 10 for me personally, only cause Audi really, really did the thing and do have the big, a panoramic roof that does open and go all the way back but only thing i do think every car should have now is the digital rear view mirror i feel like that would put this car at a 9 out of 10 rating from me but according to the you know the car gurus this car is rated a 7 out of 10 so but yeah you guys so this car 
MSRP is about fifty-five to sixty thousand, I believe. But obviously, if you know, with all the markups and all that, it can go higher. But uh, let me try and give y'all, you know, the burbles and to try and hear the turbos. Let's try and hear the turbos and the burbles. Sounds pretty good to be honest, but let me try and give you all a quick little pull on the street. Sure up the windows I'm trying to get you guys to be able to hear the turbos in like third fourth gear because this thing sounds absolutely crazy earlier I went to you know go, go take some videos and pictures of the car put the post on Instagram and I was in a San Pedro area and definitely the turbos were turboing but yeah, this car, this car only has about like 400, but honestly, this car has just about not even that much horsepower. I think it only has like 400 horsepower. It's a, you know, a three liter a V6. So which is pretty nice. It's not the crazy, but you know me, my dream build dream car is a out v10 audi r8 of course going straight to sheepy race you know to get that twin turbo system but yeah you know i, I do love audi i i believe it's a premium company premium cars obviously they make lamborghinis and lamborghini parts is part of audi so that's what you know i do like you do get what you pay for and i feel like this is definitely worth the price this is honestly a really good daily for about like sixty thousand dollars very comfortable it's more the trunk is pretty much like a hatchback area the way it opens up you can fold the back seats you can't really you know can't really complain sounds so good man this is like a really really good daily can't really complain much about this vehicle other than you know not being a v8 but you know a lot of cars a lot of fast luxury cars are not v8s no more which is you know a bummer but we'll be all right i'm gonna downshift and try to let you guys hear it's like a bimbo serving niggas out the window have a nine three kids with a hustle for jimendo had to get it off the mental had to move with the intellect mm. these niggas on me begging that paddy wagon but i won't let them in also i gotta watch my tempo Step a step a step a only step before 